Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back uh, with quick hits. We got a good show today. It's going to be the prospect of the month who is from Puerto Rico, an 18-year-old phenom named Xander Zayez. Um, he fought uh, on the 24th on the top rank card in Florida, the Navarrete Diaz card. Um, but before we get into that, uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, drops twice a day with quick hits, 8 to 10 minutes just to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. And then we do things like this. Um, also, please like our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated, dedicated to Texas. Um, all revenue and proceeds from that website, uh, from that YouTube page, I'm sorry, goes to Autism Research uh, and Recovery at TACA. Talking about curing autism, uh, the autism community in action. Uh, so please like and subscribe to that channel as well. That's the Texas boxing scene. Uh, but let's get into today's show. Xander Zayez, um, the one forty-seven pounder. He's about five ten. He's long. He's rangy. Boy, does he remind you of Felix Trinidad. Um, and, and it's coming at the perfect time right now. I mean, this kid is absolutely phenomenal. There's not a whole lot to not like about this kid. Um, he's patient. He's calm. Uh, he took apart an 8-1 eight and one opponent in, in less than one round in his last fight out um, on the Navarrete Diaz card. Um, it was a left hook. Puerto Ricans love that left hook. Um, Cotto to the body, Trinidad to the head. This kid's left hook, um, absolutely phenomenal left hook. Uh, then he, he caught his hands real early on, clobbered him with another one that, that rocked him, and then dropped him just seconds later, and the fight was over just like that. It was basically... Um, you know, two left hooks that got him in a world of trouble. Then he unleashed a, a litany of power shots. Um, and then it was the left hook that landed perfectly. That finally put Leighton out. Um, and he's not a slugger. He's patient. He, I, I, he's, he reminds you so much of Trinidad. He stands up. He stalks, but he's patient. And then when the, when the shot becomes available, he's absolutely all over it. Um, he's a special talent. He's a special talent. Um. His jab and his left hook can take him a long way. Um, the 147-pound division has been stacked, is stacked, and look like it's going to be stacked in the future. Um, and, and this kid's going to be a part of that, right? Look at the 147-pound division. Um, in the future, just 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 the upcoming prospects. You had Ramos, Jesus Ramos, who fought last night um, on, on the Ruiz Areola card, who is incredible. And then you have, obviously, Boots and Virgil, who are the leaders in the pack. Um, then you have Connor Ben, a.k.a. Nigel Ben Jr., um, who took apart Familia. Um, and now you have this guy. So you can see Top Rank has theirs. PBC has theirs. Golden Boy has theirs. Um, who is Nigel Connor Ben with? Is he a BT guy or, or, or an Eddie guy? I don't, I don't know. Um, but you can see... Everyone's got their welterweight in place, and boy, are we headed towards another era of great welterweights. And this kid, Zayas, is going to be a part of it. Um, he, the, the IQ, the boxing IQ and the ring generalship is there already. Like I said, he doesn't rush. He picks his spots, and then he absolutely unloads. I want His kid's 18 years old, by the way, right? He's 5'10", 147, and 18 years old. Um... I mean, there's not much to dislike about Xander Zayas. He's from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, I want to see him stepped up aggressively. You know, I, I met him when he made his pro debut back in October of 2019. Um, he's a special, special talent. He's a special talent. Um I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing him step, you know, stepped up pretty quickly. 
Um, a couple of names. If you go to uh, 3D Box Blog, you'll see that he's the prospect of the month on that website too. I'll put a link into the description. But I like I uh, Kendo Castaneda. If you want to keep the uh, Puerto Rico versus you uh, Mexico thing going, uh, I thought Julius and Dongo would be a you know he's a little bit past his prime, but he's a, he's a, he's a guy that I would like to see him fight before the end of 2021. I, I think that's how advanced he is. I think that he has to fight three more times. Um, there's a couple of other names. I, 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 you know, names like that. Uh, but I'd like to see him test. I'd like to see him move along pretty quickly at 147. Samuel Vargas, Brad Solomon, you know, names like that. I, I think he can take guys like that out. He's and he's only 18. Um, I, I think this kid realistically has a chance to be a world champion by the time he's 21. But it's gonna be tough though, right? Because all of those other names that I mentioned, right? Like, I don't know where, three years from now, I don't know where Crawford's going to be. I don't know where Spence is going to be. I don't know where Thurman's going to be. I don't know where Porter's going to be. Those guys could be gone, retire or out of the division at least. But then after that, if the, I don't know where those guys are going to be. After that, you have Virgil Ortiz, Boots Enos, Jose Ramos, um, Connor Ben, and Zayas. And I don't know how they're all right. Obviously, Ortiz and Boots are the leader of the clubhouse. They've got a bunch of years on Xander, uh, but Xander's got, Xander's going to be there. Um, Xander's, like I said, his ring generalship, his power, his patience, he's composed in there. And then once you leave, once you make a mistake, it's over. It's over. He absolutely steamrolls you and demolishes you. Um, top rank has a star here. Hopefully that, that they market him. And manage them correctly. You know, they need a star. Whatever's going on with Felix Verdejo. Um, I, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but they need another star. Obviously, it's not Verdejo. It, him, um, Zayas, and Berlanger seem to be the leaders in the clubhouse for who their next star is going to be. Um, I, I honestly, even though despite the age, I think Xander Zayas is more, is has progressed more, is more developed than Berlanger is. This kid's good. This kid's freaky good. Um, it's going to be fun watching him. You know, I don't know where he finishes up as far as weight, uh, but as long as he can make 147, as long as he hangs in there at this weight class, he's got a bright future. He's got a real bright future. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news. Um, again, please like and subscribe, share uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Hit the bell icon, hit the thumbs up, all that. Uh, get notifications, all that good stuff. Remember, also to like Texas Boxing Scene. Texas Boxing Scene, it's our new it's our new YouTube page. It's our YouTube channel that all the proceeds, uh, any revenue that we get from the channel goes directly to Autism Recovery and Research um, at Taka, to, uh, the Autism Community in Action. So please like and subscribe, share, uh, share us in all forms. Uh, it and speaking of great Puerto Ricans, uh, it is May second, twenty twenty one. Ivan Calderon, the great Ivan Calderon, is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, let's get that. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of twenty twenty one from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.